pleasure actually to dig so deeply into, into artistic works all over the United States because I mean I could tell that the, the supra gliding between Europe and New York works really well. There's a very good connection between Los Angeles and New York as well. But like Atlanta, New York, or like even San Francisco, New York, or Houston, New York, is a different thing. And it's less fluid. There were a lot of good night. Harry. Good night. Good night. <laughs> there were like a lot of uh, people that I've never heard of, and actually where I basically fell in love with the artwork. And it was a pleasure actually to meet the artists at the opening, because most of them came over to install the work. And basically, I have to thank all the jury members as well, because they've done obviously a great job. They pre-selected like, all the thousands of artists who applied to get Martelia grant, and they gave grants to 285 people. And eventually, I was able to take the cream of my vision out of that pot, which was pretty amazing. For me, it was important to make a show that would be maybe to a certain extent. What I love about Artelia is that they give money to artists, no strings attached, and I think it's quite a rare thing uh, nowadays, and especially in the United States, that artists just get funded, their work get funded, they got support to work what they are, uh, what they have to spend their money into. I mean, it even might be a dentist bill in the worst case. Hopefully not, or it can be hopefully in the production of new work. But I think that's a fantastic opportunity. And so for me it was important to show also a little bit the democratic structure of it all. I mean, of course, it's all about the expertise of the jury and about great, great artists and great artworks. But on the other hand, I think it should look different than... I mean, I strongly believe in space. I think you always start making a show out of a space and what you have, and I have the marvelous connection to the Longhouse project that was established, that is kind of a gallery space, like very aestheticized, very beautiful, elegant, and so on. For me, it was interesting when I visited for the first time, actually, after having seen Longhouse projects coming over here and discovering the Fire Museum of New York City. I think it's a beautiful museum because it's a very analog museum. There are, like, no touch screens. There are a couple of films, a couple of photographs, but it's a museum that trusts the objects, if you want. So everything uh, that you see here are objects, and objects that are loaded with narratives. And I thought it was quite interesting. But also the whole context, this whole community, it's like another community. So of course, the main public of this museum are firefighters from New York City, from the United States, from, from the whole world, one can say. We witnessed it a little bit by being guests here that firefighters are, are very eager to know more about the heroes here in New York City. So it's kind of a museum of heroes too. And the history of the museum got changed as well, of course, through 9-11, because so many firefighters have lost their lives. And so it, it took a completely different turn, because it's quite a tragedy that is part of the history of New York firemen. So let's start with the first piece. <laughs> 